what's up you guys this is Rob from a gay guy plays and today on the daily grind we're gonna be talking about Kuva survivals whether they are worth it what their current state is and what is the best way to go ahead and get big old chunks of Kuva what's the most efficient way to get that all done now for those of you guys who are unaware um, DE just went ahead and introduced a new Kuva survival mission into the Kuva fortress it's called um, Tevwani listen you know I'm not gonna remember names it's just a thing that I am incapable of. Uh, but regardless, basically what happens is when you go into the mission, um, it starts off pretty much like a normal survival. However, now we have these filters that spawn on enemies. You kill the enemies and you can go ahead and bring those filters up to the life support towers. Those life support towers are then converted into um, Kuva harvesters. So basically what happens is you give up a life support tower and then you go ahead and get yourself a Kuva suction matic. And basically it filters in the Kuva from the air and gives you guys a chunk of Kuva. Currently it is sitting at uh, 200 Kuva per tower. Um, so basically you get one of these towers once you log in or once you get into the mission initially and then you get one every 90 seconds. There was a patch that came through today that actually um, kept it at a set 90 seconds instead of kind of gradually adding more and more time in between. So it is a fixed 90 seconds for anybody who had not been reading the patch notes. Um, so basically what we're trying to take a look at is whether that's a good enough amount um, whether that's more efficient than the current other ways that we have going on um, with the Kuva on the star chart and um, Whether you know and what's what's the best way to get the most out of it basically So right now as it stands there's a lot of back and forth about you know Is it too much should it scale yada yada yada? Um, but what I wanted to go ahead and do is I wanted to give you guys some calculations that actually occurred on stream today Technically, it's yesterday for you guys when you're seeing this video. So if you guys are curious at all, you can actually go onto my pitch Twitch page and um, take a look at the VOD from the 29th of March, just so that you can kind of see everything going on live. You can see the calculations happening. You can see the timers and all of those things going on. So you're aware, you know, I got to keep my receipts because everybody on the internet is always trying to dog you, always trying to say, no, 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 you didn't get this right. You didn't get that right. I literally had about, you know, 200, 300 people there literally with eagle eyes making sure that I did everything right. So I wanted you guys to be fully aware. I did not just do this magically, you know, in a closet somewhere and not have anybody keeping an eye on my calculations. Now, speaking of those calculations, I do have to point a couple things out before I start throwing numbers at you. Um, there are certain things that are just not in the calculations. Number one, the amount of time it takes to load into a mission. So one of the big benefits of Kuva Survival is the fact that you only have to lo load into one mission and you can stay there for as long as you feel like. So you have one load in and one, you know, load out. <laughs> One one extraction, we'll call it an extraction, which I don't really like the name of because it reminds me of pimples. But basically, that's one of the big draws to it because what a lot of people are not factoring into, you know, how much time it takes to do a mission is actually getting into the mission, then getting back out of the mission. Then getting into a mission and then getting back out of a mission. Um, because what I'm actually doing is I'm comparing the Kuva survivals to other standard Kuva survivals, then of course Kuva captures, Kuva exterminates. We've taken all of those numbers, I've got like 20 plus missions kind of all loaded in, times average, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and that's one of the things that I just wasn't putting in calculations. It's just not a thing, but it is definitely something to be aware of because, you know, maybe if you load into one or two missions, it's really not that much time, but over time you do end up spending a lot of time in um, loading screens. Definitely something that you need to kind of keep in your head. Uh, the other thing that will drastically change um, exactly how much time each of your missions go on is number one, teammates holding up extraction times. And I know that that doesn't seem like much, but really in these calculations, because I've actually done Kuva per minute, in there if someone is taking like an extra 30 seconds and y'all gotta wait for that extra person that can definitely add up over multiple missions and I'm, i keep saying multiple missions because of the fact that one of the big draws to the kuva survival is you're in there and you just wait and you just let it escalate and you just keep on going so you really only have to worry about one entrance and one extraction as opposed to five six seven eight nine ten 
right? So you could listen, if you got a couple bad runs and you got a couple teammates that are just really, really slow or get lost, like I do constantly, they could be adding like extra minutes onto um, multiple runs. So definitely something to keep, uh, keep in mind. And then the other thing that I also want to point out is because I know, I know in my heart of hearts, because we had a poor, dear, wonderful child in chat that was trying to tell me, oh no, I finished all of my Kuva siphons in like two minutes, two to three minutes tops. And I'm like, two to three minutes tops, bitch. Like we literally just did the perfect Kuva siphon. We did the perfect Kuva Siphon capture. We were in there, we literally had captured some guy at like 20-something um, seconds, and then in the next room was the Kuva. We did the Kuva and we got our asses out, and that was like three minutes and 30 seconds, something along those lines, right? And I'm like, you rounding down. You really trying to round down on me, aren't you? However, for, for those people, I'll have you know that with my results, I actually did round down to give you guys the benefit. But two minutes, uh-uh-uh, I've uh, uh, I run a whole bunch of capture missions, and they all, like, at the fastest times, it's like three minutes and, like, 20 seconds. So I'm like, I mean, maybe you do it solo or whatever, but legitimately, unless you have a really perfect setup each and every time... Um, you're not getting those low, low minutes, and especially if you do not, if you're not able to find your Kuva Siphon straight out of the game. So that's one thing that you don't have to worry about in Kuva Survivals, because literally everything is marked on your map. Everything is marked out in your map, you know, you've got all of the drops as to where the, uh, the filters are, and then you've got all of the, um, you know, landmarks as to where all of the life support towers are that you can convert into, um, the harvesters. So... You've got all of that marked off on your map as opposed to Kuva Siphons where sometimes you'll capture the guy in like 20 seconds. Like if you're in a super fast Kuva capture, right? You get the guy down and you're like, where is this Kuva Siphon? Where is this Kuva Siphon? And you're looking in different rooms. I've had some of those capture, mi um, capture missions go up to six minutes long because we were unable to find the um, Kuva the Kuva Siphon itself. And then, of course, we had to sit there and, you know, do all of the, the dashing through the clouds and shit, right? So that's definitely one of the things that you want to kind of add in and pay attention for because you're not doing that with Kuva Survival and you're not, you know, we're being realistic about the fact that you're going to be doing multiple missions and you're going to be encountering multiple Siphons, some of which you might may or may not be able to find. Um, so... Uh, what I actually went ahead and did is over the 20 plus missions, I've actually averaged out um, how much time it takes to do an average quick Kuva mission. All right. And now I say quick is because I've done it with assassinations that were easy. Not any of the crazy long assassinations, not like anything nuts, like maybe a little bit of Vor, maybe a little bit of the Sergeant, like those kind of things, the fast ones. Then I also uh, factored in Kuva Captures and Kuva Exterminates. And when I talk about Kuva Exterminates, it's not Kuva Exterminates where everybody's huddled around the Kuva thing, um, defending it the entire time. It's literally like one person at the Kuva Siphon and then the rest of the team clearing the rest of the Exterminate mission while that one person kind of like knocks all of that out. So keep that in mind. Um, but for the amount of times that I've played on public, um, it was... 4 minutes and 44 seconds repeating. So it was 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. But I've actually rounded that down um, to 4 minutes. Because I feel like sometimes you get lucky and you get the 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And then sometimes you get like the 5 minutes plus. So I'm going to say 4 minutes is a good median. And I'm rounding down from 4 minutes and 30 seconds because I really should have kept it at 4 minutes and 30 seconds. So I want to kind of like present you guys with the way that this works um, and the way that I actually presented it off to uh, DE. So this is where the number comes from, all right? So with boosters, and I always do everything with boosters, so just if you're going to try to test these out with your numbers at home, just cut it in half. With boosters, you get about 1,250 per siphon. Okay. Average run times can range from 3.5 to 4.5 um, for like faster for faster um, like siphons. So in four minutes, in four minutes on one of these faster runs, you average out um, 312.5 kuva per minute. All right. So when you are doing your mad dash and you got your four minutes and you are doing 312. 
0.5 kuva per minute. Now, one of the other things that I do want to point out is we do have survival. Um, the standard survival, not the kuva survival that you find out, but the standard survival will earn you 1,250 max per siphon. The average run is 5 minutes because you're only going to be there in 5 minutes, but I'm going to give a 30 second marker for people to extract. All right. So in 5.5 minutes, the amount of kuva you get per minute is 227.2 per minute. All right. So for the fast, for the fastest kuva stuff, 312 for an, the, the standard kuva survival, it's 227. All right. So that's just the siphons, the survivals with the siphons and then just the normal siphons. So we went ahead and we tested out the harvesters. Now with the harvesters, you get 400 every 90 seconds, because that's with the booster, um, the initial one plus the initial that you get upon starting the survival. So at four minutes and 30 seconds, you get your fourth life support, which equates to 1,600, but you have to wait an extra minute to defend it. So that puts it at five minutes and 30 seconds. And then you have to go ahead and add 30 seconds for extraction, exactly like I added for the standard siphon survival, right? So that averaged out 266.6 repeating kuva per minute. So the, the kuva survival makes more kuva per minute than the siphon survival, but it does not make as much as the faster runs um when you are doing standard the kind of like the the standard faster missions like um x what is it called oh my god like exterminate capture and some of the faster assassinations so you're not earning quite as much um and the other thing that i pointed out is that i believe with the kuva siphons okay let me let me because I, I gave her i gave them numbers so floods kuva floods i'm using that four minutes that four minutes rule again um which turns out to be 625 kuva per second so what i've kind of told them and this is what i've said to you guys as well is that i think um 250 is a little bit of a better number so i'm actually asking for a little bit of a boost because um, what they kind of stated previously to this is that they wanted the Kuva uh, siphon, uh, the Kuva survival, so the one where you have harvesters, um, to stand in between the standard siphon missions and the flood missions, right? So they want it to be an in between. Right now, it's not quite there. So basically, if you do 250 per uh, harvester, you know, per harvester on the Kuva survivals, you'll get 33 uh, 333.3 repeating kuva per second, which means that you will be outperforming the standard um, kuva siphons. So that's that's good, and that's kind of what I presented to them. However, that doesn't mean that kuva survivals don't have their place, because the big thing that I need to point out to you guys is I'm putting this up against exterminates, I'm putting this up against um, captures, and I'm putting this up against assassinates. Missions that are extremely, extremely fast, right? So at the end of the day, we don't always get those nodes. Sometimes we get really shitty nodes like mobile defense. Um, sometimes, you know, you'll get spies, rescues. I know some of y'all could probably do those fast, but I just don't like those mission types. So it's a wash for me. I'm like, I don't want to deal with any of those. So the tips that I'm giving you in its current state, if it stays at 200, um, if it stays at 200 per tower, the fastest way to go ahead and get your Kuva is knock out any, knock out any flood. So as long as it's a flood you like, because again, I'm not doing... Um, I'm not doing a rescue flood. I'm not doing a spy flood. It's just not my not my type. I'm just not going to do them. I'll do defense. I'll do mobile defense. I'll do any of those. But knock out your floods, first and foremost. Knock out your captures and exterminates, right? Now, if there are no captures, exterminates, or fast assassinations on the map, then go straight into Kuva Survival and just wait it out. Um, wait it out until another flood spawns. So that is your current priority list let me repeat that one more time knock out your flood if it's a flood you're willing to do all right knock out your exterminations um your knock out your exterminations knock out your um captures 
and any fast exterminate. So if you see an exterminate and you're like, oh, we can kill that guy really, really fast. As long as each of your missions is under four minutes, you are, you know, you're earning a little bit more than you would in the normal survivals. However, if you don't see none of those missions, just jump into the survival. Because really there is a very small difference um between like a four and a half minute mission in fact let's let me do let me do the calculations on that right now so as we know like i said um from from the numbers that i pulled out 2.6 or 2 266 repeating uh is how much kuva you get per minute in an average mission so if I was to say your mission was 4 minutes and 30 seconds, right? So let's say it's 4 minutes and 30 seconds, and you divide that by that, 4 minutes, 5, oh shoot, um, 1250 divided by 4.5 equals 277. So really, if, it's, if your standard mission is anything more than 4 minutes and 30 seconds, if it's anything more than 4 minutes and 30 seconds, then really you're pretty much kind of wasting your time. You might as well have been in Kuva Survival because if you count in all of the load times of you getting in from one mission to another, then legitimately you're going to end up making as much or more in Kuva Survival. So that's the current weight that I believe that is going to get you guys the most amount of Kuva. Um, and that's going to maximize your runs. And I'm letting you know right now, if you want to bring a um, anything to any of the Kuva survivals, I always say toss, grab a Hydroid or grab a Necros. Or if you spot somebody in your team that already has a Hydroid ne or Necros, you're pretty much set. So you can bring whatever you want. Um, but the Necros is definitely nice to have there to kind of ease off a little bit of the tension. So go ahead and stay in your Kuva survivals um, until you, the next flood and the next batch of missions pop up. Then once you've got those missions that pop up, get in there, do the quick missions that you will complete under four minutes, um, under four minutes or four minutes and 30 seconds, and you will be completely fine and dandy. Um, otherwise, uh, just jump into a Kuva survival. So you guys now kind of like know the current state of where the Kuva numbers are. You've known my pitch and all of that. Um, I'm curious to see if you guys have actually played the Kuva survivals um, because one of the biggest factors that I do need to point out, and you've heard me already say this, you've already heard me say this a couple times, is there are just some missions I don't want to play. I, I would rather play a survival than a mobile defense, so you will definitely be seeing me doing the Kuva survivals if there are only mobile defenses, rescues, or spies on the map. And right now, if I even look at it, you can't see it on the screen, but I, I can definitely see it. Um, right now, what do we have? We've got an excavation. Don't like excavation, so I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, we've got a assassination. This one is for Vehek. So that's up in the air. You might be able to handle him pretty quick, but some people don't like dealing with Vehek. And we have one capture, so I would knock out that capture. I would not do that excavation, and I may or may not do that assassination, but I will most likely be chilling in the Kuva survivals because I think a lot of people really do enjoy survivals, and that's one of the biggest things that I really want to point out here is that while there, you know, there's a bunch of numbers all over the place, right? There are just some missions you enjoy more than others, or sometimes maybe you've been playing like a crap ton of captures, a crap ton of exterminates, and you just really need a change. It's amazing to be able to just jump in to, to have that kind of option and say, this is what I want to play today, and to be able to do that and have a little bit of a change. So I want to know in the comments below, have you guys been having fun with the Kuva survivals? Do you guys prefer them? Okay, tell me the truth. Would you rather have a Kuva survival or one of the siphon-based Kuva survivals? Leave that in the comments as well. Which one do you prefer playing? Because me right now, kind of am leaning towards the Harvester one, but of course it is a little bit new, so maybe I'm just like, ooh, it's, it's funner than the normal one. But you know what? That's all. It all comes down to your own kind of preference and the way that you end up wanting to play it. Plus, at the same time, I feel like Kuva survivals are really meant for, or Kuva Siphon missions in general are just meant for quick in and outs at least this way if you want to park your butt down You can go ahead and park your butt down with a couple of your friends get on voice comms and just have a little bit of a chat um, Anyway toss your feelings down in the comments below uh, And as always I hope that really really helped I want to point that out there because I know that there was a lot of rambling um, but you know, I'm I'm out so <laughs> So you know love somebody 
hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.